Hi, in this C++ tutorial, today we'll cover these topics. First of all, how can we take input and print output, data types in C++ and variables, how to use them, reserve words, what are the reserve words, and the comments, single line and multiple lines. So let's start. But first of all, if you haven't seen my first video, you can found the, find the link in description. And in that video, I have explained the Hello World program as well as how to solve the Dev C++. So let's start. First of all, I will start from the comments. How can we com write the comment or what are the comments? Comments are the lines which are helpful for the programmer but are ignored by the compiler. Means it will ignore the code. Okay. Like this one, this is the comment. I start with the double slash. If I omit this one, see now it's active. So basically, compiler will ignore when uh, I like I write this thing. And uh, one more thing that uh, why do we use comments? We need to write some statements so that uh, whenever next time we open the file, we understand that what these statements will do. It is something explanation for the programmer. We can write single line comments with the help of these two slashes. And if we want multiple lines like these one, two, three, four lines are there. We can start with slash steric and we don't need these then and we can end with steric and slash. So all these are commented. I will show you if I put it here. So these lines are active again. So we can use comment like this. Okay, now let's start. Uh, comments are clear. Now input and output. First of all, I am going to make the basic uh, statements of C++. C++. Hash include IO stream. This is a file, a library file we'll use to input and output functions. And then using name space std. If you don't understand anything, ask in the comment or you can check the description. And there is a link, and uh, I have explained these lines here. And the integer main and the program starts. First of all, I will declare three variables first of all character name but keep in mind that name will take only one character like a or b something like this we need name of at least 30 characters length so i will make an array of characters and i will explain uh, uh, define the array like this so now 30 characters can be hold in the variable name okay Next integer, I will take class. Okay, and the third one is plot, and this is percentage. I have used three data types here, so I will cover these here. First of all, if you go to the book, you will uh, find here reserve word. These are the reserve words. You can't use them as a variable names. For example, like the class is a variable uh, reserve word or you cannot use this one as a variable class. So if you go to the program and see that class is bold, means you can't use this one. If you compile it, you will find an error. Okay? So basically you can't use this reserve word as a class C, the error is there. So what I can do. Because C language is case sensitive, so I can use small, in place of small, I will use C capital. Now I can use it because it is different from this one. So these are the reserve words, which are basically C++ language words you can't use as a variable names. Okay, and these are called reserve words. Next, if you scroll down in the book, you can download this book from the STBB website I will share the link in the description as, as well and uh, you can see the data types are there these are the basic C++ data types boolean character integer floating point and double floating point the keyword to use these are these size and range so I'm going to use character integer and float in this program so character integer and float in the same order I have used in the program character integer and float okay what is the difference between integer and float? In the integer, you cannot use like 10.5. For this thing, you have to use float data type. It means to store the decimal values, you have to use float data type. 
ठीक है सो लेट स्टार्ट आई एम गोइंग टू स्क्रॉल डाउन एंड फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई विल प्रिंट आउट इंटर स्टूडेंट नेम स्टूडेंट नेम एंड आई विल यूज सी इन एंड पुट द नेम इन नेम वेरिएबल देन एन अदर सी आउट एंड इंटर क्लास and seen i will take this input in class variable keep in mind that class c should be capital otherwise it will give you an error and then see out i will take it enter percentage p e r c n t a g percentage semicolon and then c n and p e r c n t a g okay i purposely left this one a big one so that you can see that uh, we can give variable names like this okay or you can use per only but you have to change it here as well this is called function dec uh, variable declaration and here we'll put the values in it and now i want to print all these so that you will see that how can we uh, show the output of these variables so i will use see out again the student and then student name so i will put here name so what is this this is a string it will be printed as it is and the name of the student whatever we entered here it will be printed here with the help of this variable okay next of class and then class c l a w s c capital scored or got and then we'll put percentage here so this statement will print student and whatever the name we entered of class whatever the class we entered and then got and then percentage will be printed here and in the closing i will return zero now compile the program go to execute compile or you can use f9 the program is compiling processing c++ and there is zero errors so i'll see that um, what uh, what is the output of this one so i will execute this one run i will enter the student name for example rohafa r u h a i f a class 10 and the percentage she got is 70.5 keep in mind there is decimal in it okay so i entered and as you can see student rohafa of class 10 got 70.5 okay you can use the percentage sign here okay and there are little space here as well so i will change it a bit close it and then after the class and after the got and i will put a percentage sign here so that it will be like this again run it or i will use a compile and run both the thing together compile and run or f11 the program is going to compile now processing c++ file and the program is running now as you can see enter student name so i will uh, again enter the next same name r u uh, or i will make it capital so that it will be clear so have a and class 10 and the percentage is 70.5 and now you can see student rohafa of class 10 got 70.5 percentage hope oh, you clear these three things here input output data types and variables reserve words and comments as well so in case if you don't understand anything write in the comment i will explain it to you thanks thank you much bye